we will have a video presentation. Then we will recession out. Ahuru. 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 Ahuru is a Swahili word that means freedom. And I first and foremost want to offer my condolences to the mother and to every family member of Darren Seals. Today, strangely, is my uncle's funeral too. But right now, which is my brother's oldest, um, my dad's oldest, um, youngest brother, only brother. To, but right now, I'm downstairs at our 25th anniversary convention. Just like Darren, I worked at City Girl, so I knew Darren before my ground was murdered. Um, I met him from coming in City Girl, and he used to get his shoes from me, you know. And he wanted to stand, he wanted to make sure he got his shoes. And he never came and got one shoe. I, I thought he had kids because he would have a, a long list of people that he had to get shoes for. And I remember this one particular time um, I told him I had his shoes and I messed up. Wow. It was war. Like, I literally um, had to call all the city girls, like, fight somebody to get that shoe for Darren because he is scary. <laughs> With his little self. He came back and he apologized. He said, sis, you know how I handled that. That was wrong. But thank you for looking up. You know how I feel about my shoes. <laughs> like, yeah, I know how you feel about your shoes. But just like Darren, um, August night, my life changed. Because I seen my ground laying in the street like that. And I had got off from work and went to Canfield. And I, I've been amongst probably everybody that's sitting on this side in the movement. But I really wanted to be clued to something that was gonna solve a problem. Because my mother sat on that parole twice. One of my brothers was killed in 95, the other one died in 97. And then my oldest nephew that was in my custody in 2000 was murdered. And my brother was murdered by horizontal violence, but it don't matter who kill you, it's still the state. Because everything in our community is placed there strategically for a reason. And it's time to unite. But we have to define what unite mean. Because we can't unite over anything. Because petty bourgeoisie Certain Negroes only want a couple of jobs. They want a check. But we have to unite saying that enough is enough as a people. That's right. We have to have a structure that will keep us safe. That we know when it's time to move to the left or move to the right. So anybody can't come in this and infiltrate. That's why the United States Army is so powerful. Because they don't just give you a gun and tell you to go. go ahead. They give you the science to understand your enemy. So for us to know our enemy, we have to understand that it's time for us to be part of something that is solid. Right. Dern was looking for that. Dern, you know, me and him talked and, you know, Dern, like I'm sure everybody said he was very opinionated. I was looking through my Facebook and was looking at chats and how he was like, man, sis, you genuine, but I don't know about that movement. I don't know about that movement. Everybody is trying to, da -da -da. you know, he had his opinions. But at the end of the day, I knew that Duren had a lot to say, you know, but he, like you said, he gave his life for this movement. We have to understand and get to a place that we don't keep letting this happen to us. So now I'm saying to the movement, Get a part of something that is going to stop us from having this. We don't know who did what. And then blaming each other. Well, why she talk? Well, why he? No, come listen. Sisters and brothers, the task at hand is for us to get free. So I don't care what Bible you preach from or what you doing. I don't care if you pray to rocks or you pray to Muhammad or you pray to Jesus. The bottom line that we Africans and we're dying. Yes. Her P.
Peaches, a city girl. And then I went by my real name, Herdosha. Well, I have connected myself to my birthright. Because not only am I fighting for Ferguson, because you might not see me hurt. People say, I see you on Facebook, I don't see you hurt. Because the struggle in Ferguson is California. The struggle in California is New York. The struggle in Ghana, Africa, is the same struggle we're struggling for right here. So we have to understand, we cannot be bamboozled no longer. Like Malcolm X, we learned something. He, took, he, he, he thought he could handle his own security that day. So we learned that we got to move differently. The Black Panthers, they infiltrated. A lot of people came in. Martin Luther King, he understood I'm leading my people to a burning building. White people killed them. Durin Seals. Yes. Okay? Our brother had a powerful message. But he needed a force, an army that was organized, that understood when it's time to go to the left, when it's time to go to the right. So if you hurt for your ego, then you're in the wrong thing. But if you hurt because we got to get free, come and join me. Again, I want to salute this mother. I love you. And I hate that you got to sit there. But let me tell you, Dern will never be forgotten as long as I got breath in my body. And when the breath leaves my body, the Uhuru movement will be moving because the movement will move all over whoever is in our way. Uhuru!